that are there are still there. And at the bottom, you have all the foibles. So you, Tata, is able to craft different types of, uh, of tools, of bombs, this kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, using B, he's able to, uh, using a B cluster, he's able to uh, throw them at the at his enemies in order to uh, distract them. Yeah. And I see that some users in the chat were asking if this is live or pre-recorded. No, no, it's live footage. So what you're That's why I'm not playing. Thank you. Back, <laughs> in, the, back, in, oh. <laughs> back in the far, you were seeing, uh, so this is night. Night is super dangerous. That's when the Predator comes out. So here Julien is very scared. <laughs> <laughs> so he whips out his, uh, his weapon, sets him on fire. Nice. So all the weapons you have, you can set on fire. And uh, with the fire, it creates uh, something that scares animals. So you can repel them at night. So it makes your traversal. Uh, okay. Okay. And obviously, you can also set them on fire. Yeah. Which I think is a, a pretty valid tactic. Yeah. And you didn't see it so but just before you could see uh, <laughs> <laughs> And just before you could see the, the like a village from afar uh, behind you, I think, Julien, uh, with like the lake and the Yeah, so Far Cry Primal does go through day night cycles. Yes. yes. See? And the, the what's interesting is the setup for uh, for the locations changes. So uh, depending uh, if you go by day or by night, the guards uh, are doing different kind of things. By night they light the fire, they're more around the fire playing music. So uh, it's a different opportunity. And, and here uh, you're at actually this is uh, a quarry. Uh, so the Izila, they're a little bit more advanced. They're already constructing things. They have this megalithic structure all around the world that delimitate their uh, their territory, but they also use it for uh, for rituals. So here is one of the locations where they would uh, start crafting these things. What's interesting for us is to show how the people were living at the time and how the different tribes are also living. Is that cave bear eating someone? <laughs> I think he is. <laughs> Oh, what did you just That doesn't throw? seem like a good plan. So, part of the arsenal, so we showed the weapon, part of the arsenal of Sarka as the Beast Master is also his ability to tame uh, wild animals in the world. So, this is something you unlock as you progress in the game. But here, uh, Julien is just taming uh, this bear. It's not a cave bear, it's a small bear. The oh. cave bear is like twice its size. Yeah. Yeah. So Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's important for me because I'm all about yes. uh, PSC, you know. <laughs> pet the bears, pet the bears. And yes. you're riding it now as well. And so, oh, so this is oh, a cave whoa. bear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that's completely enough. unexpected, right? Fire! <laughs> and actually, you saw the enemies are also using fire uh, against uh, the cave bear. So, yes. I but I it doesn't care, I think. <laughs> Man, I cave bear so does not. Uh, <laughs> okay. Run right away! Yeah, Julien, so he's riding his bear. Yes, you can ride your bear. There's a few, uh, a few other animals that you can <laughs> 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 Oh, it's dead at you. Oh my god. Okay. So bears are a little bit less scared by fire. <laughs> As we can see here. <laughs> so yeah, I also think they, they swim. Care. So when you try to, uh, to, 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 for some of the predators, you can also go to the water in order to save them, but bears, they swim too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the chat's asking, where's the Pokeball? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Thank good god. job. Good job. And so you can actually revive. After setting the world on fire, <laughs> you can heal your beast even if it's down, right? Yeah. You just killed that. Awesome. Right. So you have food with you in order to heal yourself, your beast. Mm -hmm. It's part of the uh, economy of the game. So yeah. you need to hunt also to gather food. Yeah. And there was a little bit of a, like a timer. Uh, you had a, like a limited time. Yes, to when uh, your beast is down, you have a limited time in order to uh, revive it. And uh, otherwise, you can actually go to resurrect it. But you need uh, some specific time to spend on that. Okay. Ah, so this is going to be uh, from the yes, the famous beautiful. Resurrect. No, but <laughs> this is going to be from the menu. Okay. And I think on the new map we can see you're nearing the, the outpost that we wanted to show. Have a great out. Your beast is following you. Still on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So the animals in Beastmaster, they kind of react. I mean, you, you can control them and kind of give them directions, but they also maintain their regular AI. Yes, so if something's going to happen. Oh, nice. And you just called another beast. Be systemic, they remain uh, systemic beasts, uh, but you can actually point them towards something. So if it's a, if it's a place where they're going to go there, if it's an enemy, they're going to attack it. I see Julien is doing uh, the subtle work. <laughs> <laughs> I like his play style because very he's, quiet, uh, he's yeah. very, uh, very uh, subtle, discreet. Oh, oh. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Saber tooth take down. Oh. No. Nice. That was just a villager. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it? It was in my way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, it's, it's still uh, we're changing a lot of the aspects of, the, uh, of Far Cry with this game, but uh, we also wanted to remain Far Cry. So 
you will have your, uh, your freedom of approach because Ilya is going uh, to what he's blazing in. Uh, but uh, there, there is going to be a, a lot of different approaches. You can go in stairs, so you have a lot of different choices you can use as you are approach the station. And of course, when you are sold down, the alarms are rung, so the, the patrols are going to come uh, coming in. So, so those are chief tanks. Yeah. yeah, the chief tanks are tougher, and also they are. <laughs> and these are the B bombs that are actually distracting. Yeah. And everything is on fire. This is so beautiful. The chief tanks are better at fighting a bit. So uh, even if you have a, a set of weapons, there's a vulnerability also, so you need to manage the different types of them. And he has a kind of uh, area of effect, do you see it? Like when he hits uh, the ground with his club? Yeah. Oh, nice. So you as you, yeah, as you can tell, every weapon you can light on fire and you can throw every weapon. Which I think is oh, pretty cool. Really Yeah, you're killing it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, so oh, oh you're good. now he means business. Got the double bolt. Oh. Double bolt. And uh, yeah, fire is an important part. You want the world to feel like it's very vulnerable. So <laughs> well, it all uh, it's, uh, it's okay. So <laughs> 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 because uh, this is a bomb that makes the enemies yeah. crazy, so they will uh, turn and fight uh, any, any people around them. Uh, this is something you develop uh, later on in the game. Let you steal from the Udam. Nice shot. I love that that saber tooth out of nowhere. Yep. Saber tooth out of nowhere. Take that. <laughs> and as you can see, like we're showing Julien playing it right now. <laughs> For those who are wondering if it's real live gameplay. Yeah, someone in the chat asked if you can ride a bear. That's how we started. Yeah, that's how we started. Riding a bear. And then uh, it was a pack. Two, so, so, and mama. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh. Okay, these chieftains mean business. Yeah, yeah and now they're fighting oh, each other yeah, because you use the, the, the yeah, poison bomb. Friend. Yeah. So this is another way of creating chaos from just watching. <laughs> okay, is this your last guy? No, oh there's God. another one. I think there's another one in the back, yeah. Oh! So this chieftain area of effect uh, fire swing is pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> Why won't you die? <laughs> this is strong opening. You have a lot of uh, diverse units, uh, oh. uh, range, melee, etc. So uh, as you progress, also you will encounter a harder version of them, a weak version of them. And, uh, it's uh, uh. when you attack them, uh, and you have the icon over the head, you have the information oh. also about uh, the Good type one. of them. So and that's there are two that's enemies left. Cool. <laughs> Jenny, I believe in you. Yeah, you yes, can do you it. Can like do I believe that it. you can. You can massacre all of them. Oh, in the foot. So obviously, kind of the uh, full-on assault is a fun way to go, but you're going to encounter a lot of resistance. Yeah. And the last enemy is hidden somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. Maybe they're kind of smartly hiding. Go. Yeah. Mostly hiding in the in the house. Maybe. <laughs> get him, buddy. Get him. A nice uh, transition to the um, to the base, I thought. Yeah. There you go, hiding in the bush. Yay, oh, good no. job. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about how you do all